Hey guys, how are you today? <coughs> Hi, it's Guide here, and I'm making this video to say goodbye. I'm taking my leave from Facebook, and today, Monday, Twitter already is going down. I uh, made this decision a few months ago in November, and uh, now I was hoping to do that by the end of December. It didn't go as planned uh, in the new place we are in Nova Scotia. There is much to take care of and some logistics too, you know, and things to save and making choices, which uh, new alternative social media do I use? So all that now is cleared. And uh, so I am doing this video <coughs> as a beginning also of a series of videos on other topics, including coaching and mentoring. But this one specifically is to say goodbye to the people that followed me on Facebook. I reached lately in the last few months, 5,000 uh, friends or followers, call it as you want. But um, what I've seen happening in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in other mainstream social media platforms have uh, prompted me to say, these are not my values anymore. I cannot support that way of going. I cannot support this breach of the constitutional right to free speech. And um, yeah, I think it's the time to part ways. Now, <laughs> there are a few things that could be said about that. Uh, there is only one that I want to touch upon today that is based on my existential philosophy and mentoring, understanding human behavior, human development, coaching, philosophy, uh, economics, if you will, and simply life, <clears throat> life with a big L. I don't know if you see the L in the right way, probably to do it that way. <laughs> in order to be read in the proper way. I don't know how this video yet works. I just uh, learned to use this camera option on Windows 10. It's very basic, so I'm not gonna probably do any editing. So you get it as raw as it is, all right? And also I am learning to place my video here, guys. Bear with me, it's very raw and Sometimes I'm looking at myself down there, sometimes I look at you in the screen. <laughs> Some people ask me, wow, you leave Facebook, how many years? So, 14, 15 years of uh, being on Facebook and probably the social media that has most impacted my uh, connection with the um, outer world and not being anymore in my city when I moved out of uh, my small country, my small city, many, many years ago. Um, for a while I had some MySpace, then MySpace went down. What is the mindset that we need to have in order to make the choices that we want? How do we part ways when something is bearing so much emotional value, like uh, being on Facebook with uh, so many thousand people for 15 years, 14 years, it doesn't matter at that point, it's a long time, how to deal with all the things that are shared there. Well, I want to compare the, the choice I'm making and the choice that many have done to death. I do believe that in a way or another, based on our own beliefs, either spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs, they help, they help a lot. Both of them, they have dif two different natures, I will speak more about it when I'm going to do some videos specifically for coaching and mentoring, but in order to do coaching and mentoring, it is important that we have some foundations of existential philosophy, philosophy itself, understanding the human brain, not only as a machine, but also understanding the spiritual aspect of the human brain. So, 
we need to come to terms with death, our own death, you know. There is a strong connection between dying to a platform and dying to our dear one. It's that. That is the feeling that sometimes stops us. Can we avoid dying to our dear one? Can we avoid dying to those that we have loved for a lifetime and just go somewhere else? Well, we cannot. So, what I believe is happening today, we sometimes try to extend that um, unpleasant moment with artificial way, like social media, like connection, belonging. Of course, you might think that I am saying, absolutely BS here, and I am taking that too further. I don't believe so. I do believe that in order to make a decision and stick to our values, we need courage. Uh, going away from Facebook, it means that I shut down this account. I will save a few pictures, maybe a few videos, but I won't be here anymore. Yeah, of course, I will be somewhere else. And I can tell you, uh, you have seen my post, you can see my handles, as they call it now, the handles. What's your handle? You can see the handle down here, right? On um, Telegram, on Parler, as soon as I reactivate it, <laughs> it's off now. <laughs> it's been pff, shut down, censored, yeah! On Gab. You will see my School of Thinking channel as soon as I launch it. <laughs> Be patient. On uh, Libri, Libri, L-B-R-Y dot TV. On YouTube, on BitChute, on what was the other one? Well, it's down here in the writing. So, what is that? We don't know it. I don't know it. I am spiritual. I am not religious. I'm going to be honest. And uh, the, I'm not going to go into the difference today between spirituality and, 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 um, and religious. And religion. And religiosity, if it exists in English. But what I want to share is the relevance of death as a philosophical concept. I want to borrow an idea from a wonderful spiritual and virtual mentors of mine. Virtual because I met him only once in San Diego. And it was beautiful. I love him. I love him. It was very sad when he passed away one night of August in 2017. Wayne Dyer. He said, when we were born, we went from nowhere to now here. And probably I keep going. Uh, when we die, we go from now here to nowhere. But I want to reframe the concept of nowhere, which many calls home. The real home. Nowhere, perhaps, is just another place, which we call nowhere. And some others, depending on the religion they have, give it different names. Their names. The place is what matter. <laughs> the consciousness in their place is what matter. As many of you, I, I don't have an idea of how their place better said. I don't recall. I can't recall exactly <laughs> how that place feels like, sounds like, smells like, looks like, or even tastes like. Probably neither of the last two taste and, and smell <laughs> are accessible there. But I think it's just a new place. So. I'm dying to Facebook. Next Sunday, Sunday 31st. That's the day I die to Facebook. 
But I am reborn somewhere else. <laughs> Telegram, gab, parlor. Look at that, that. It takes a courage, some sort of courage, courage to do that. Yes, it does. Because otherwise, I believe many other people will do that very swiftly. And many are thinking about that. Many have been inspired by reading, oh, you want to leave. And many have already done it. I'm not unique. I'm not exceptional. I'm just trying to put some, uh, how can I say, understanding of life. Life is simple. Language made it very complicated. Belief made a mess. But life, with a big L, is simple. Life is the territory. The language we use to describe that territory is the map. Our maps, our languages, are never good enough to really describe the territory in its entirety. So map is, the terri is not the territory, excuse me, map is not the territory. It's a fundamental understanding to begin to perceive life as it is. And it's a perception. Next Sunday, I die to Facebook. I am born to another platform. Or more platforms. It's stupid as a concept, right? So it's, but it's an exaggeration. But it helps me. It helps me to metabolize, to metabolize, to process the sense of grieving, the sense of death that you feel as a human when you leave something you have either loved or had a relationship or spent time with for so, so many years. There is that sense. I won't have that feeling, the Facebook feeling. I will have new feelings. The gab feeling. The parlor feelings. The, the, the telegram feelings. It will be probably even better. But unknown now. So I do believe as humans to really own no rent. No rent at the idea of someone else. No, 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 no. Don't rent ideas. They are nice. They are useful. When we rent some ideas, they actually can help us to process. But owning ourselves, really owning, being the owner of our consciousness, I believe requires courage. My other belief, as I already said, and probably I'm boring you to tears, is that in order to become courageous, to be come, to be courage, we probably might have to face the biggest fear of humans. Humans with a body. Yeah? The human life, biological life with a body and this moon suit that is serving us for all these decades and come to peace with death. I learned to deal with death many years ago with one of my first amazing mentors, Professor Francesco Benzo. As I was studying martial arts, meditation, breathing techniques and moving chi around, which is part of me, in one fortuitous and beautiful uh, weekend, uh, what now we call retreats. We weren't calling them retreats back then. I understood, I began to see something about death and the importance of coming to terms with our own death. The death of Guide Forlani or the death of Guido Forlani, if you met me and learned me and, and became a friend of mine as an Italian dude <laughs> before becoming a, a, an, a, an American Canadian dude. See, I could even die physically in the next few days, not only to Facebook. And so be it. But in this regard, 
I want to leave you today with this philosophical dissertation on death and <laughs> it's making me laugh, it seems like a stupid concept. Death and living social medias. Well, no, living mainstream social medias. To go into independent or uh, and less stream, <laughs> I don't know how to call them, uh, social medias. Well, I'll see many of you there. I look forward to it because either on Libri.tv or on Telegram channel, I will keep talking about philosophy, organic leadership, the school of thinking, mentoring and coaching to access the deepest place of our consciousness. As we learn in and uh, intellectually, but actually, we always understand intuitively what intuition is. If you're curious, follow me somewhere there. And guys, with so many of you, it's been a wonderful journey and I have reached 15 minutes. I don't even know if I publish this because I began doing this video in the most unlikely place with all the confusion of my little back shelf and a beautiful banner that Heather and I loves back here. You cannot read what's written on there, but we just love it. In our newly purchased home property with all the work I need to do. So everything is very rough. But you know what? If what I'm saying is making sense, I think I'll just keep it as it is. Transparent as now. No editing. No trinket and whistle and, and fireworks. As is. Life as is. I love you. I hope to see you there on the other platform. Goodbye. Adio. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Au revoir.